Good morning, or afternoon, everyone. Um, this is Merchant Slayer. Um, and today, and today on Merchant Slayer, we're going to be making, well, baguette bread. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I, I make it a lot, and I figure why not put it up on here. It's something that I can teach people. So, first bits first. We need our we need our, our flour. Um, I typically just use like well, a great value, which is our like off brand, you know. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw three cups of that in there. And and I I don't typically worry about it being. You know, too loose in this. Um, dense is fine. It just adds a little bit of more, a little bit more flour in the beginning bit. And uh, that there is three cups of the flour. Now, this first part, we're actually just going to be adding all of the um, the regular dry ingredients. So the next bit is salt. Now, oh, that's a that's full teaspoon. Um, it says here two teaspoons, or you know, ha not, not two teaspoons. Oh my God, half teaspoon. Um, all I have here is a fourth of a teaspoon. So, Boop. Boop. so two there makes half. Magnifique. See there. I don't know if it'll if it'll zoom in, but there's my fourth teaspoon. So we're gonna have half a teaspoon. Of salt in there. Um, having a quarter teaspoon is good here for us because we only need a quarter teaspoon of the active active dry yeast there. Oh, just scoop them little boys up. Whoop! Toss them in there. Nope. Oh, and then. Um, We've got that. After that, um, it asks for uh, three quarter teaspoons uh, sugar. Now, I assume, um, this is just me, that they mean granulated sugar. However, I've made a habit of using um, just powdered sugar, and it always seems to come out a little bit more airy. I mean, I know dense bread's nice, but... It, it just, it, I feel like it, it might add something to it, just a little bit. So, I personally use powdered sugar, granulated sugar works. I've used brown sugar, both golden and dark brown, and honestly, my favorite is the powdered sugar. Um, try it with all sorts. Honestly, it's, it's an experimental process. Um, so this next part, we'll take all these dry ingredients and we whisk them together. You know, get it get get it all aerated, and then I'm gonna try to keep it all towards the center, not to move it out too much. But you go ahead, you know, get that all airy. Now, this, this is the part. We need to add a cup and a half of cool water. Now, of course, this is that kind of thing where you add one cup or you know, it's a, it's almost gradually add, just so that you can get it fully combined. And uh, it says here to use your rubber spatula. I mean, you could probably use your hands, but it's not quite combined yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and add the next bit. We're trying to keep it, you know. Uh, 
pretty moist. Um, it says here that we're, we should have a, a sticky mass, uh, a little bit wet, um, at the end of this process. So we're going to go ahead and hope that works out for us. Um, while I'm mixing this, in the near future, I mean, I'm, I would say if this video receives you know, good reception, but honestly, I'll probably do it anyway. Um, but I'm probably going to do one of these on how to make pretzels. That's a one that I really like uh, to do a lot. And something that when I was a kid, I always wanted pretzels, but they were always so expensive. And so I never really thought to myself, yo, you could learn how to do that. But uh, But that's something that I learned when I you know, uh, I started to, you know, be more independent and moved out as I learned that really, you can make just about anything. You don't have to be a consumer. Um, you can be a producer. In fact, Merchant Slayer, we work a, a farmer's market here in our town, and we, uh, we sell paintings right now. We're looking to maybe expand our inventory with some other stuff but right now we've just got some paintings that we um, make uh, some of the ones that Galen does on her her videos and some others all right so this here um, it says we're supposed to have a thoroughly wet sticky mass of dough this isn't quite wet or sticky, but the inside is. So maybe we'll, we'll just we'll dribble a little bit more water on there, and we'll give it a couple more good turns around. Yeah, so that that looks like it definitely inspired some some nice ooh some nice moisture. All needed. Just a little bit more. Alright. So, um, after you've completed this process here, and you've got your nice, wet, sticky mass of dough, as I do here, just go ahead, make sure you, you know, try to get off as much as possible. It's not quite working as well as I'd like it to. There, don't worry about that too much. Um, we're going to take cling wrap. Take this here cling wrap. And this is not enough cover. Now, I'm, I typically just set my breads back there. It's a decent room temperature place. And uh, yeah, now we'll do some cleanup. Okay, we're back. What a pain in the ass. After our 12 to 18, it's only been, it's actually been like 14. Uh, we go ahead, we'll, we'll pull. Okay, so this portion, we need to, it says wooden dust board, but <laughs> no, no, no. All right, so go ahead and dust our, <laughs> dust our cutting board and uh, take, take Ooh, the, so the spatula there and, you know, turn it out onto our board. It says our, our plastic dough scraper. I don't have a plastic dough scraper. So rubber spatula is the next best thing. I do have a dough scraper, but again, not plastic. Okay, so. Sweet. Gone ahead and turned out our dough there. And the next bit here, we're just gonna, oof. Fold it over onto its, itself a couple times. This is probably a reason why we're we've dusted our cutting board. I'm just gonna put a little bit over here for in case we need it. And while we're doing this, man, I'll, oh, it's it's May first today, and it is it was the, the the revealing of the gameplay. Borderlands 3, man, I was watching the stream of it, and it is bonkers looking. 
all of that. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just really excited for that, like I expressed in my other video. Alright, so this here, we're just gonna, you know, you know, I guess uh, turn it around on itself a couple of times, you know. We're gonna have a sort of soft type of thing going here. And we're gonna have eventually a nice little dough ball like that. Okay. So, this is the next part. We take. Take olive oil. I just have this here. It says it's perfect for all these things, but we're not going to use it for that. We're going to use it for something else. Alright. So we're going to take our bowl here. We're just going to pour a little bit of our olive oil in there. And with that, we are about prepared for our next a little bit of rising um, so you need unfortunately to let this rise for another third or 30 minutes to an hour um, I've done it either way this over. see if we can see this and and well if you if you if you uh, don't let it rise the full hour, it'll be a little bit more dense of a bread for you, um, as opposed to the more, what's the word I'm looking for, airy, um, hour long. So, with that, we're going we're gonna to let that sit down for another, another hour and get you back when we start with that. Peace! Time's a charm, but uh, this should be the final. Um, so we've let our dough rest overnight for 12 to 18 hours. We have let our dough do its second rising of an hour or 30 minutes, depending on what we what we decided. Of course, it's time to make that bread now. We need to first, of course, we need to preheat our oven to 475. Um, if you are watching this and just watching it and then going to try it, this won't be uh, bad for you. If you're going step by step, I apologize. You need to do that first. <laughs> Alrighty, so right off the bat here, we have our big massive dough. Um, sure. What we need to do is we need to take these chunks and pretty much just cut them off. Cut the chunks and pull them over. Chunk, chunk, a little bit of a chunk there. Pull them over, get a little bit of a chunk there, pull it over. Now, there are different chunks. This is the important part. We need to roll out our dough. A little bit of a baguette shape. And we need to, it says on here to roll it out to about 12 inches. Not ever too much of a worry. I just roll them out into little strings. Or, you know, chubies. This one here might be a little bit bigger. Okay. Two. Now we're here with number three. This one's hecka thick. Let's 
So we're gonna have to go ahead and cut him in half. And then of course his buddy here, his other half. That's for shows, You know. <laughs> yeah, you know I be rocking that dough. Gonna make something out of it. All right. Anyway. I'm gonna do some loving. All right, I love you. Okay. So we have here. So while we're waiting for that, we'll go ahead, we'll uh, pull out the rest of these and then we'll go look at the, we'll look at the other side, or you know, them on the baking pad, what? Alright, we just really, you really just kind of roll it out lightly with your fingers, I find. It's the best method. And, you know, it's just you gotta be gentle with it because the idea is that this is an airy bread. You know, I have a nice crisp outside. It's just very airy bread. All right. I'm eating a while for. So, here we've got our last bit. Sprinkle some salt on them, and then. I personally, sometimes I put butter on them, other times, sort of just seems like the best course of action is to, to brush them. Go ahead and put that olive oil again. These things are absolutely covered in olive oil, but uh, it honestly it makes for Thanks for a decent bread. Alright. All right. So, let's go ahead. Alrighty. Love you. Program on these last few here. Get that big one. It's not as big, big one. All right. Since we've got more, we'll pop it back over here. Lay that down. Then these little boys about to go in the oven. Not quite done, but that's all right. Go ahead and set it on the middle tray. And now, we're going to go ahead and wait, I believe. And with that, we have our bread. Sorry I don't have footage of it. I had work. But, thanks for watching.